For decades, fusion was a distant dream. But in the last three years, the sleeping giants of physics have woken up. The turning point was December 2022 at the National Ignition Facility in California. 192 lasers fired, and for the first time in history, we got more energy out of the plasma than the lasers put in. Ignition. Since that historic spark, the public sector has been sprinting. In January 2025, China's East Reactor, the Artificial Sun, shattered endurance records, holding a superheated plasma stable for over 17 minutes. It proved we can not only light the fire, but keep it burning. Meanwhile, in Germany, the Wendelstein 7X Stellarator, a machine with magnets so twisted they look like alien architecture, hit a critical milestone in May 2025, proving that complex geometry can trap heat better than we ever imagined. The science is no longer just theoretical, it is operational. While governments build cathedrals of science, the private sector is building race cars. We are witnessing a SpaceX moment for fusion. In Massachusetts, Commonwealth Fusion Systems is currently assembling Spark. By using new high-temperature superconducting magnets, they are shrinking huge reactors down to the size of a tennis court. As of 2025, the heart of their machine, the cryostat, is installed and waiting for the fire. On the other side of the approach is helium energy. They aren't just heating plasma, they are pulsing it. Their Polaris machine aims to be the first to demonstrate electricity generation, with a bold contract to supply power to Microsoft as early as 2028. And in the UK, Tokamak Energy just announced a breakthrough in November 2025, a magnet system stronger than Earth's magnetic field, yet capable of running efficiently at higher temperatures. The race is no longer about if fusion works, but who sells it first. The era of physics experiments is ending. The era of power plants has begun. We are seeing the rise of machines like the UK's STEP prototype and Canada's General Fusion LM26. These aren't just trying to fuse atoms. They are designed to boil water, spin turbines, and light up cities. The challenges now are materials that can withstand the heat of a star for years, not seconds. It is about tritium breeding, lithium blankets, and grid connectivity. We are standing on the precipice of a new civilization.